We don't want to actually have to sit and practice for, you know, 20 minutes to learn something. We want to do it in four minutes. I am going to be reacting to YouTube piano lessons for your viewing pleasure and education. So let's go ahead and get started with the first video. Hi everyone, my name is Jaza and I've played the piano for 18 years. And okay, in 18 I've years, seen this I guy before. a lot of mistakes. If I could go back in time, I would do things pretty differently. <sighs> I think, so in this video, I think you could say that about pretty much anything, right? Differently. Definitely as a pianist though, yeah, there are so many mistakes that you can make while learning. And that's actually why it's so important to have a really, really good teacher or to just read the right books that are written by, well, great teachers. It helps you avoid mistakes and, I don't know, something that I found really useful. I'm gonna start from number seven and work my way all the way to the most important thing, number one, at Great the very way of end. So keeping sure people watch watching to the end, right? The end. Number seven is to learn more music theory. And I think it's really important to learn more music theory because learning more music theory- This is theory a great tip. You're gonna get Definitely a lot agree. Sight reading, because when you learn music theory, oh. What you're Man, learning reading is a whole bunch of is the hardest. scales and key signatures, arpeggios, time signatures, and all these things, they just really- Okay, so I definitely agree with his point. When you understand and can recognize scales and keys and time signatures and all those kinds of things, that's less information that your brain has to process. And then that is the way that you can just look at things and recognize them and not even have to think about it. Number five is I would stop using so much pedal during my practice. I think pedal is really, really good for certain pieces of music. When you use it in performances, it's very effective. But when you're practicing, it's better just to not use it uh, and just focus a little more on clarity. I can kind of see this a couple different ways. Um, the first thing what he's saying is that sometimes you don't want to use as much pedal in certain pieces of music. That's totally true. The other point that I think he's trying to make here is that it's good to practice without pedal and focus more on clarity. I think that you should practice a piece of music however you would want to perform it. So if you're gonna ultimately perform it with pedal, I would practice it with pedal. On the other hand, sometimes teachers will say, oh, practice without pedal, make sure you can get this line perfectly smooth and legato and to sound really beautiful without pedal. And then people think, oh, well, if you had pedal, that's a crutch and it's bad, you can't do that. I think sort of cheating a little bit with a pedal is okay. That's not exactly what he's talking about, but that's kind of just, I think, a helpful side note. Have you ever wanted to learn piano, but you Why, don't know Why, yes, how to I have. Started? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to teach you She the has very such a nice voice, doesn't she? In this lesson, you'll learn 10 things. You'll learn your finger numbers, 10. the piano key nice. names, okay. how to So find this it. is a really, really common video that you'll see on YouTube, a beginner piano lesson. And I love the fact that there are so many videos like this on YouTube because this is really helpful for so many people who are trying to learn on their own and don't have access to a teacher. So this is really great. You'll learn your finger numbers, the piano key names, okay. how to find any note on the piano, correct hand positioning, the difference between a whole step and a half step, how to play okay. any major or minor chord, and how to wow. play some of the most popular and easy piano patterns. Okay. Wow, we haven't even got to the end of the list of things that you're gonna learn in this video, um, which is actually kind of incredible. So my first sort of thought in watching this is that, okay, so this is a beginner piano lesson. You know nothing about the piano. Assumedly, you might not know anything about music, and it's 23 minutes long. So I feel like, and this is nothing against this particular teacher, I'm sure she's a great teacher, and she's trying to cram in content into a video, and I think that's great. But from my personal experience with teaching, I would say that that is way too much information to put in a very first piano lesson. Usually if I teach a first piano lesson, it's gonna be a 30 minute lesson and you're gonna learn basically four things. I feel like that's just way too much to try to teach a beginner person without them feeling super, super overwhelmed. Now the benefit to a video like this is that you can go back and watch it like a thousand times. Hey everyone, Jacques Hopkins here, and I teach the fastest okay. piano lessons on the internet over That's at pianoin21days.com. And in this video, I'm breaking okay, so down got all the barriers when it comes to learning here. how to play the piano because I'm going to show you. So I'm actually you curious what he has to say. Your here. favorite songs on the piano in just four minutes, even if you've never touched one before. So okay. if you don't know how to play Not the sure piano, about this. just Let's looking see what at this one is. may be intimidating and overwhelming. And that's because we've got these white keys and we've got these black keys, you know, what's the difference between them? Well, I'm here to tell you there is no difference between 
black and white keys. Okay. We literally could have 88 identically looking purple keys, but then how would you know where you are on the keyboard? So right off the bat, I feel like this is a little bit of a waste of time if you're truly gonna teach someone to play their favorite songs in four minutes, but let's see where he's going with this. At any given time. So that's the reason we have white keys and black keys is so that you know where you are at any given time. That's the next true. thing we need that's, to do is true. learn the names of the keys. Now you don't need to memorize all 88 keys because we have these sections of 12 keys that just repeat themselves. The next thing we need to do is okay. learn how to play some chords. Chords are just multiple okay. notes played at the same time and they're the foundation for the songs that we want to play on the piano. Okay. The majority of chords fall into one of two categories. We've got major chords and we have minor chords and you don't need... Okay, so, um, so far he's sort of teaching you how the keyboard is sort of laid out and then he's going right into chords. So let's see where he goes from to here. To memorize all of them, you just need to know the simple formulas and once you know the formulas, you instantly okay. know how to play all the chords. So for example, the formula for major chords is simply four, three. What does that look like? D, go up the very okay. next four notes, one, two, three, four, and then the very next three notes, one, two, three. That's a D major chord. How do you know what chords make up the songs that you want to play? For that, we just turn over to, turn over to Google. And in this case, I wanna play All of Me by John Legend. So I'll jump on Google and I'll type in All of Me chords. And so in this case, it looks like the beginning of this song is E minor, C major, okay. G major, and D major. So basically the claim in this video, I feel like it sort of appeals to people's sort of um, instant gratification. Like we, we don't want to actually have to sit and practice for like, you know, 20 minutes to learn something. We want to do it in four minutes. And so not that this is bad at all. And I'm not saying anything negative about this particular teacher because he kind of did teach what he said that he would in the beginning of the video. The problem with this, however, is it doesn't teach anything about rhythm or it doesn't teach you how to voice chords. And I feel like, yeah, you could play the chords. You could kind of figure that out on your own, but you're kind of missing so much information that you can't really play the whole song. I mean, arguably, but I feel like I feel like it's just kind of one of those videos that it's gonna get lots of clicks, but it's really not gonna teach all that much. Want to see more awesome content? Make sure and subscribe, and while you're at it, check out this other video right here.